Okay, so good day guys. So for the uh, topic for today, we will have now the analytical chemistry or the introduction of our quantitative chemistry. Okay. Analytical chemistry is the measurement of science consisting of set of powerful ideas and methods that are useful in all fields of science and medicine. An exciting illustration of the power and significance of analytical chemistry occurred on July 4, 1997. The Pathfinder bounds to Hall of Iris Vallas, or in one of the area of Mars, and delivered the uh, Sojourner rover from its tetrahedral body to the Martian surface. The world was captivated by the Pathfinder's mission. The million the internet surfer who watched the process of tiny Sojourner uh, overwhelmed many websites that tracked the mission and in its quest for information of the Red Planet. The key instrument abroad the sojourner was your APXS or your Alpha Photon X-ray Spectrometer. So, anong tsura sa ito nga? APX or your Alpha. Try ko na search kung may, uh, may connection. Yeah. Okay, so muna yung tsura sa iyo mo, class nga, analyzer. Okay, you have here your alpha, okay, alpha particle x-ray spectrometer. Okay, the instrument combined with the three advanced instrumental techniques of your uh, Rutherford's backscattering uh, spectroscopy, okay, proton emission, spectroscopy, and x-ray fluorescence. The APXS data were collected by the Pathfinder and transmitted to Earth for further analysis, analysis to determine the identity and concentration of most of the elements in the periodic table. Then, compare them with the terrestrial rock or kung ano ang hari sa aton mga sample sa mga stones okay, or rocks. The Pathfinder mission is a spectacular, uh, spectacular example of illustrating the application of analytical chemistry to practical problems. The experiment abroad, the spacecraft and data from the mission also illustrate how analytical chemistry draws the science and technology in such widely diverse uh, disciplines as nuclear physics and chemistry to identify and determine the relative amount of the substance in a sample of matter. The Pathfinder example demonstrates that both qualitative and quantitative information are required in analysis. Your qualitative is the test for presence or absence of certain analyte or material. How then ang imong quantitative quantity means numbers or the exact amount of analyte in a given sample. Your qualitative analysis established the chemistry identity of the spe uh, species in the sample. Quantitative analysis determines the relative amount, okay, the amount of this species or your analyte in numerical terms. The data from the APXS spectrometer or sojourner contains both type of information. Note that the chemical separation of the various elements contains in the rock was necessary in the APX experiment. More commonly, a separation in step is necessary part of the analytical process. As we shall see, qualitative analysis is often integral part of the separation step. And the determination of the identity of your analytes is essential adjunction, uh, adjunction or adjunct to your quantitative analysis. In this text, we will explore the quantitative method of analysis, your separation method, and also the principle behind each operation. You have your A1 or first part. You have your role of your analytical chemistry. Your analytical chemistry plays a vital role in development of science in 1894. Friedrich Wilhelm Ostwald wrote, Analytical chemistry of an art or the art of recognizing different substances and determining their 
constituent or the parts takes as the prominent position among the application of science since the question which is enable us to answer arise whenever chemical processes are employed for scientific or technical processes its supreme importance has caused it to be assiduously cultivated from the very early very early period of historical uh, history of your chemistry and its record comprised of a large part of quantitative work which is a spread over the whole domain of science since Oswald's time analytical chemistry has evolved from an art into a science with application of throughout industry we have your medicine and all the science to illustrate consider a few examples the concentration of oxygen and the carbon dioxide are determined in millions of blood samples every day and used to diagnose and treat illnesses. Your quantities of your hydrocarbons, nitrogen oxide, and carbon monoxide present in automobile exhaust gases are measured to determine the effectiveness of smog control devices. Your quantitative measures of your ionized calcium in blood serum help diagnose parathyroid diseases in human. Okay? Your quantitative or ang aton nga pag check give ya sang exact number or numerical values of the analyte. Okay? Quantitative determination of your nitrogen in food establishes their protein content and thus their nutritional value analysis of your steel during its production permits adjustment in the concentration of each element of carbon nickel and chromonium to achieve the discharge strength hardiness corrosion resistance and ductility the mer uh, mercantile content of the household gas supplies is monitored continually to ensure that the gas has a sufficient obnoxious odor to warn of dangerous leaks farmers or your uh, farmers tailor fertilizers with irrigation schedule to meet changing plant needs during the growing season gauging this needs the quantitative analysis of the plant and the soil in which they grow so ang um, quantitative analysis hindi lang din yan, purely sa laboratory lang sa mga science experiment lang so this is applicable kidya sa mga daily uh, businesses, mga farming, okay, you have your food. Na. Your quantitative analysis also measures, also plays a vital role in many researches okay, in your chemistry, okay, chemistry, your biochemistry, okay, start a combination of your biology and your chemistry, separated pag ito ato nga biology, the study of life, your geology, okay, the study of uh, the earth, Okay. the physics and other sciences for example quantitative measurement of your potassium calcium and sodium ions in the body fluids of your animal permits your uh, physio uh, physio physiologist to study the role of this ion plays in nerve signal conduction as well as the muscle contraction and also relaxation Chemists unravel the mechanism of your chemical reactions through the reaction rate st uh, studies. The rate of consumption of your reactant of formation of the product chemical uh, heavily on quantitative chemical reaction can be calculated from the quantitative measurement made to equal time interval. Materials scientists rely heavy on quantitative analysis is of your crystalline germanium or and silicon in the studies of semiconductor devices. Impurities in these devices are in the condition uh, concentration range of one times ten to one uh, ten percent or one raised to ten. Okay. Uh, archaeologist identifies the source of their volcanic gases or yung obsidian by measuring concentration of minor elements in a sample taken from various patients. This knowledge in turn makes it possible to trace prehistoric trade routes for tools and weapons fashioned from of your obsidian. Uh, 
this is like for your carbon dating right? your carbon dating class is a method to check uh, how old is the material okay ng mga nakita ng mga relic so carbon dating okay? determines the exact date of when was that produced or usually being used many chemists or biochemists and medical chemists uh, devotes a significant fraction of their time in the laboratory gathering, gathering quantitative information about system of interest to them. The central role of your analytical chemistry in the enterprise and many other is illustrated in a figure 1-1 and, and, and all branches of your chemistry draw the line and techniques of analytical chemistry. Analytical chemistry plays a similar role with respect to the many other scientific fields listed in a circle and arranged in a periphery of a diagram. Chemistry often termed the central science and the top of the center position of chemistry as well as the central position of analytical chemistry in the figure symbolizes the importance of the case study foreshadow many of the methods and ideas you will explore or study later on there is a analytical chemistry so you have here diagram okay um, ano na yung, yung figure okay flow diagram shows the step in quantitative analysis there are a number of possible paths through the step of quantitative analysis in the simplest example represented by the central vertical pathway. We select method acquire and process the sample. Dissolve the sample in a suitable solvent, measure a property of the analyte, calculate the result and estimate the reliability of the result. Depending on the complexity of the sample and the chosen method, various other pathway may be necessary. So here, select a method. This is the pathway of or a method for analytical chemistry. Here, you select a method of what is suitable sa mga sample. Okay. Next is you need to get your sample. Okay. After getting the sample, you proceed with your experiment or your process, your sample. Next question is, is the sample soluble or if matunaw bala siya? Okay, sa so usually sa... Sa... Solvent. Right. Next is, kung hindi siya matunaw, carry on chemical dissolution. Okay. Next, kay kung masunaw mo siya, okay, measure the property. Property being measured is the amount of your uh, amount of your sample plus the amount of your soluble uh, solvent. Okay. Then, dali, kay, hindi siya matunaw with the regular solvent, you go on with your chemical dissolution or you will uh, a pwede mo siya matunaw using chemicals okay change uh, if there is a change uh, if hindi siya uh, ma measure okay change uh, change chemical form okay next is kay na kay na measure mo man siya you go to eliminate of your interferences why do you need to eliminate the interferences class Okay, di ba, ang balta to gina. Your chemical, uh, your analytical chemistry is a very specific uh, analyte measurement. Okay, quantitative chemistry measures the numerical value of a certain or a specific analyte that you want to measure. Okay, kaya kung may mga interference niya class, okay, the specific type of analyte na ginapangita mo may have a higher value okay, ang mga interference na dala sa pag-count sa machine or it may have a lower value because kay mas natabunan sila sa ibang nga analyte. Okay? Your then, after mo ma-eliminate, you measure property of X. Okay? Property of the X is the sample. Next, is calculate the result. Okay, then estimate reliability of the result. Okay. Next, one C or picking a method. This is Okay. The essential first step in quantitative analysis. Kaya dun nagatag na ako sa mga So there is a verb, a broad explanation. Oh shit. 
Okay, essential first step in quantitative analysis is the selection of method as preceded in figure 1-2. The choice is sometimes difficult and requires experience as well as intuition. One of the first question to be considered in uh, selection process is the level of accuracy required. Fortunately, high reliability nearly always requires a large uh, investment of time man, because you will repeat the same experiment over and over para the, like, uh, the accuracy or the reliability is after mo sa kada experiment sa nga munaya class, the value itself is repeated or my uh, similarly close lang. Okay, ang muna ginamin niya nga ah, kinanglan mo gitsang large investment of time. Okay. The selected method usually represents a compromise, a compromise between the accuracy needed and the time and money that are available for analysis. A sample consideration related to the economic factor is the number of samples to be analyzed. Is there many samples you can afford to spend a good deal of time in preliminary operations such as assembling and calibrating of your uh, instruments? And the equipment and preparing standard solution, we have only a single sample for only few sample. It may be more appropriate to select the procedure that avoid or minimize many uh, preliminary steps. Finally, the complexity of the sample and the number of components in a sample always influence the choice of method to some degree. Okay, next, your 1C-2 or acquiring the sample, paano ka magkukuha sa sample or sample collecting. Okay, accelerated uh, in figure 1-2, the next step is quantitative analysis to acquire sample. The, to produce meaningful information, on a, an analyte must be performed on a sample whose composition faithfully represents that, uh, that of the bulk of the material from it which is taken, where the bulk of the large uh, heterogeneous great uh, great effort is required to uh, to get a, a representative sample. Okay, consider for a sample a railroad car containing 25 tons of or uh, silver ores. Okay, a buyer and a seller must agree on a price within which we will be based primarily on the silver content of the shipment. The ore itself is uh, inherently heterogeneous. Consisting of many lumps of various sizes as well as silver content. The array of the shipment will be performed on a sample that weigh about 1 gram. On the analysis to have a significant, a significant this, um, this small sample must have a composition of its representative of the 25 tons or approximately 22,700,000 million seven hundred grams of ore in a shipment. Isolation of one gram of material that accurately represents the average of composition is nearly 23 million of, block, of bulk sample in a gram undertaking that required carefully systematic manipulation of the entire shipment. Sampling involves obtaining a small mass of material whose composition accurately represents the bulk of the material being sampled. Okay. The collection of the sample, uh, the collection of the specimen from the biological sources represents the second type of sampling problem. Sampling of a human blood for the emission of blood gases illustrates the difficulty of acquiring representative sample from a complex biological system or kung an, uh, for example, mga health or mga therapeutic pharmaceutical companies nga gain sa treatment sa mga klase nga sakit. Therefore, ang ilang nga problem is mga person nga may mga amuna nga illness. Okay? Kung nga ginamin niya nga ayawan sila pangita sa patients. Okay? O, so, nang toto. A system. The concentration of the oxygen or sa dili sa example lang is uh, may isa ka tao then or ilang nga patient galing lain ang ilang nga uh, concentration sang blood gas or component sang uh, sang blood or the, in, the chemical component sang blood. Okay. Okay. As human itself, 
Okay, it's ever changing, ga depende sa situation or situation kung anong ara. So, boom. Okay. Now, here, the concentration of the oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood depends on the variety of physiological and environmental variables. For example, appropriate application of tourniquet in a hand flexing by the patient may cause blood oxygen concentration to fluctuate or mag nubo. Okay, ano nga tourniquet application na application? Okay, as a medic, like what I said of my profession, I'm the one who is in charge of collecting samples kapina sa patient. That's why uh, uh, kung magkukot kami tourniquet, it may mga proper procedure na ginapapalo namon. Okay. Para hindi maapektuhan ang amon nga mga lab results. Una. So because physician makes a life and death decision based on a blood gas analysis, strict procedures have been developed for sampling and transporting specimens to the clinical laboratory. These procedures ensure that the sample is the uh, Sample is representative of the patient uh, at the time it is collected and it is introduced, uh, in its integrity is preserved until the sample can be analyzed. Many sample uh, sampling problems are easy, uh, easier to solve than the two just described. Whenever sampling, uh, when whenever sampling is simple or complex, however, the analyze must be the laboratory. Uh, the analyte, analyst. Uh, the analyst must be sure that the laboratory sample is representative of the whole uh, before proceeding. With the analysis, uh, sampling is frequent the most difficult step and in analysis and the source of greater greatest error. The final result of the analysis will never be any more reliable than reliability of the sampling step. Next is the processing of the sample. Um, four pages. Okay. <coughs> processing of the sample. Okay, the third step in the analysis of the sample is to process the sample as shown as figure dash one two. Under certain circumstances, no sample containing is uh, no sample processing is required prior to the measurement step. For example, once a water sample is withdrawn from the stream, a lake, or an ocean, the pH of the sample uh, can be measured directly. Under most circumstances, we most uh, we must process the sample in any of the variety of different ways. The first step in processing the sample is often the preparation of the laboratory sample. Okay. Here in the uh, preparing, preparing, pre pre <laughs> preparing in the laboratory sample, a solid laboratory sample in the ground to decrease the particle size. The size ensures the homogeneity on store of var uh, various lengths and time before the analysis begins. Absorption or desorption of water may occur during each step, depending on the humidity of the environment. Because any loss and gain of water changes the chemical composition of the solid, it's a good idea to dry sample. Just because starting on the analysis, uh, alternatively, the moisture content of the sample can be determined at the time of the analysis in a separate analytical procedure. Liquid sample presents a slightly different but relative set of problems during the preparation step. In such samples are allowed to stand in an open container, the solvent may evaporate and change the concentration of the analyte. In, uh, if the analyte is a gas dissolved in a liquid, as in our blood gas analysis example, the sample container must be kept inside a second sealed container, perhaps during the entire analytical procedure. To prevent contamination by the atmospheric gases, extraordinary measures, uh, including sample manipulation and measurement in an inert atmosphere, might be required to preserve the integrity of the sample. Stop it. No. No. No.
So defining and replicating the sample. Replicating is um, making more sample or duplicating. Okay, we perform most chemical analysis on replicate samples whose masses or volumes have been determined uh, by careful measurement with the analytical balance or which the precise volumetric devices yeah, volumetric devices. Replication improves uh, improves the quality of the result and provides measure of their reliability. Quantitative measurement on re uh, replicates are usually average, and various statistical tests are performed on the result to establish reliability. Preparing solution on physical and chemical changes. Okay, so ang physical and chemical changes na ano nyo na naguro sa general chemistry. Okay, or may idea na kamo. Pero wala. Okay. Chem uh, physical changes is only a change in its appearance, uh, sizes, uh, volume, mauna. However, ang physical changes mo wala siyang change in its content. Okay, or ia composition. Okay, opposite ang chemical changes. Okay, your chemical changes is a change in its entire composition or may nagdugang siya. For example, ang yung mga hydrogen lang. Okay, if your hydrogen is combined with your oxygen, okay, okay your H2O is composed of your two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom, okay, that is a chemical change because you form a new or naging water na siya or your hydrogen uh, hydrogen your H2O your two ox two hydrogen and one oxygen atom <laughs> siya Ito. more analysis are uh, performed on solution of the sample made with a suitable solvent uh, uh, suitable solvent uh, ideally the solvent should dissolve the entire sample uh, including the analyte. <coughs> Rapidly and completely, the condition of the uh, dissolution must be sufficient, mild that lost the analyte, cannot occur or is minimized. In an overflow diagram of figure 1-2, we ask whether the sample is soluble in a solvent or not. Okay. Unfortunately, many materials that must be analyzed are insoluble or hindi matunaw sa common nga solvent. Example includes your silicate minerals, nuclear weight polymer, and as uh, and specimens of animal tissue. Under these circumstances, we must follow the flow diagram to the box on the right of to carry some of the harsh chem uh, chemistry nga pag now or pag so uh, pag ganun sila. Uh, word. Pag dissolve na word. Pag That's why you, you need to use harsh chemicals. Okay, harsh chemicals, you need to handle this carefully since this uh, are highly corrosive. Okay. Conversion of the analyte. Conversion of the analyte in such material into a soluble form is often the most difficult and time-consuming task in the analytical process. The sample may require heating with aqueous solution or strong acid, or strong bases, oxidizing agent, reducing agent, or some combination of such reagent. It may be necessary to ignite the sample in the air or oxygen okay, para ar sa ang mga kuhaon yung sample is the uh, iyang, uh, vape, ang iyang uh, vapor or it's either ang ano mismo ang aso okay okay pwede ka naka-analyze sa uh, gases okay ano 
and perform a high temperature fusion of the sample in the presence of various fluxes. Once the analyte is made soluble, we then ask whether the solution has the property that is proportional to the analyte concentration that we can measure. If it does not, other chemical steps may be necessary to convert the analyte to form with the suitable for the measurement step. As we see in the flow diagram of figure 1-2, for example, the termination of your manganese in steel, your manganese must be oxidized to uh, MO4 or a combination of your magnes uh, magnesium oxide. Okay? Before the observance of the color solution is measured in chapter 15, later on, and this point of the analysis, it may be possible to proceed directly to the measurement step, but more often than not, we must eliminate interference in the sample before making measurements as illustrated in the flow diagram. One uh, C-4 one or limited uh, interference. Once we have gotten the sample into the solution and convert the analyze to the appropriate form for the measurement step, the next step is to eliminate substances from the sample uh, that may interfere with the measurement step. This sequence is uh, uh, depicted uh, in a flow diagram of figure 1-2. Few chemical or physical properties of importance in chemical analysis are unique to a single chemical species. Instead, the reaction use and the properties measured are characteristic of the chemical of element or compound. The species other than the analyte that affected the final, uh, final measurement or called your uh, interference or interference, a scheme must have be devised to isolate the analyte from the interference before the final measurement is made. No hard and fast rule can be given for eliminating the interferences. Indeed, solution for this problem can be most demanding aspect of analysis. Okay, chapter 17 said alum We are well chapter two separation of uh, methods or putting a gamit to separate your interference. Next is calibrating and measurement. Okay, nga agi na calibrate ang machine. Calibration of the machine uh, is agi uh, na calibrate ang machine is to uh, get the exact value sang analyte ng ginang pangita. Okay, then uh, measurement is depende sa pag calibrate mo therefore if wa wala mo na calibrate mayo ang machine or ang inyong uh, device is wala is not calibrated usually wala maintenance mo na the measurement may be off or inaccurate okay also on the calibration so depends on the final measurement of the physical or chemical properties of the analysis as shown in a figure 1-2, this property must vary in a known and irrevocable way of concentration of analyte Ideally, the measurement property uh, is directly proportional to the concentration that is. Okay. You have here formula your CA is equals to KX. Okay, ano meaning na? Okay, the K. Okay, basta makita nyo na. Actually, it signifies as constant. We do exception. Analytical methods require the empirical determination of K which, uh, with chemical standards for which CA is known. The process of determining K is thus an important step in most analysis. Okay, this step is what you call your calibration or uh, calibrating your analysis uh, analyte. That's why your CA. Okay, calculating your result. Okay, computing the anal uh, analyte concentration from experimental data is usually relatively easy, particularly with modern calculators or computers. The this step is uh, depicted in the next to last block of the flow diagram, figure 1-2. These computation are based on the raw uh, experimental data collected in the measurement step. The characteristic of the measurement instruction of the stoichiometry 
and the analytical reaction sample of this calculation appear throughout this book. One C-7 or the evaluation, uh, evaluation of your result by estimating their reliability is ano uh, ka uh, reliable uh, reliability same word reliable or pan ano masaligan gitman balang imo nga experiment okay as figure 1-2 implies analytical result are incomplete without estimating their reliability the experiment must provide some measures in the uncertain ties association with computed result if the data to uh, data are to have any value. Chapter 4 represents the method, the method for carrying out this important final step or this process step. We have here integral rule for the chemical analysis or feedback sa control system. Analytical chemistry is usually not the end uh, itself, but it's part of the bigger picture or the, this is just the beginning pa lang or upisa sang pag analyze mo. Okay, because it's only just a fraction or small part sa nga muna nga substance or sa muna nga material. Okay, you're only checking for a one specific. <coughs> yeah. So, in which we may use an result to help control the patient's health, to control the amount of mercury in a fish, to control the quantity of the product to determine mind the status of the synthesis uh, or to find whether there is a life on Mars. Chemical analysis is the measurement elemental of all of these ex examples. In many cases, let us consider the role of quantitative analysis in the determination of control of the concentration of glucose in blood. The system flow diagram figure 1-3 illustrates the process uh, illustrates the processes a later company. Patients suffering from insulin-dependent diabetes or mellitus de uh, develop hyperglycemia, which manifests itself in a blood glucose concentration above normal value, which is ang 60 to 95 nga uh, glucose. Pero sa ila, you have to begin with a sample determining that uh, this <coughs> the desired state in the blood glucose level below 95 uh, milligrams per DC liter. Many patients must monitor their blood glucose level by periodically submitting samples to a, a clinical laboratory for analysis by measuring the levels themselves using handheld electro glucose monitor. Kaysa unang panahon class, way pa na ang glucometer or to check the uh, blood glucose of okay, so a diabetic patient or sa kabalong sa nos na mga Injects ang ilang insulin para makontrol nila ang ilang blood sugar. Okay, okay. Pero kasi subong, uh, may aral na kita technology, so makita nyo ng iba, may mga pricker, then ginaparan na sila sa device, ginatanaw nila, uh, be, pakita ko na lang, glucometer. Ah. So, anong tsura sa glucometer? So, kasi yung mga idea, so, mga, mga parente na kamunga wal, uh, gagamit na sinabala. Okay, at least na ano nang chuga sa glucometer this check the glucose level of certain individual ay ano na gina butan nila sa strip so ah uh, basi may mga kita kamo sa parinting yung mga mga money hindi yung pagkampangi eh, basi kung maguba nyo tapos si gamo because it's very important for them for their health okay so, the first step in monitoring the process is to determine the actual state by collecting the blood sample from the patient and ensuring the blood glucose level. We have here a diagram. So, medyo out of shape na ang diagram. So, hindi nyo man di ma-display, hindi uh, nyo di makita. But, uh, I will forward this, uh, this module. Ah, makita nyo man eh. So I have here the result displayed from the state compared to the desired uh, state as shown in figure 1 that's true. Measured blood glucose is above your 95 mg per deciliter. The patient insulin level, which is con uh, controllable quantity, is increased by injecting or oral uh, administration. After a delay to allow the insulin time to take effect, the glucose level uh, 
level is measured again to determine if he desired state is achieved. If the level is below the threshold, the insulin level uh, has been maintained. So no insulin is required. After a suitable delay time, the blood glucose level uh, is measured again and the cycle repeated. So ang sa mga diabetic na ng mga insulin dependent, may pagmina silaga test ng ilang blood glucose. Okay. Uh, in this way, the insulin level in the patient blood and thus the blood glucose level is maintained at the below critical threshold. Okay. Now, which keeps the metabolism of the patients in control. Okay, what a simple explanation. We are talking about uh, insulin dependent uh, diabetes, but we are measuring the glucose. Okay, because the glucose is like the uh, easy or uh, sa makita ta sa chemical analysis sa laboratory. Uh, um, barato siya nga itest. Okay? Hapos siya i monitor. Okay kaysa sa insulin mismo. Insulin is being rapidly consumed sa mga body uh, hard to isolate. That's why we isolate the glucose itself. We check the glucose itself, not the insulin. So, ginabasihan sa uh, insulin level or the insulin needs sa mga body is your glucose level. Kaya nga man, the insulin is the one who keeps track or ginapanubo ang mga glucose sa blood because they're the one who will uh, help control it gina at uh, buulik siya pasulod sa cell para magamit ang glucose. The glucose is a sugar, okay? Okay, kung idea, glucose is a sugar. Uh, it is one of the, uh, ginagamit sa atong na cells to produce energy. Okay. Sa atong nga body, you have different uh, mga glucose or sugar forms. So, your blood glucose is the most common. Yung mga ginagamit for blood gas. Yeah. Okay, do trivia lang to. Okay. The process of the continuous measurement of the control is often referred to a feedback system. And the cycle of the measurement comparison and the control is called your feedback loop. This idea find a wide application of biological and biomedical system, uh, mechanical system, and electronics. From the measurement and the control of the concentration of manganese in steel, <coughs> okay, do not, do not. maintaining the proper level of your chlorine in a swimming pool, chemical analysis plays the central role in a broad range uh, system. Okay, so that would be all sa the first discussion. Uh, next week, dasig na po mag-upload. Okay. Ginapan nung nag-i-dis na ginag-revise naman. So, God bless you all and thank you for listening.